Hi, Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising sign. Thank you so much for joining, and I hope that you are well. I thought that I would do a uh, specific spread uh, for the upcoming Mercury retrograde. And the retrograde is um, going to occur on April 9th, and it will last until May 3rd. And I uh, thought that maybe the cards might uh, give us some insight on how to navigate the influences of the retrograde. And I'm sure that you probably know that a Mercury retrograde is about, um, it feels like the world is going backwards and, and things are out of sorts. And particularly with respect to communication, clear thinking, um, electronics, travel, uh, they say don't make any big decisions during a retrograde, so um, this influence can can impact us. And um, I think one of the things to do is to take a step back and to relax and to restore and to um, find some different ways to go with the flow during this time frame. So I have a little spread here that uh, I'll do a reading and pull some oracle cor cards for further clarification. So um, I've already shuffled off camera, so let's we'll go ahead and get started. Okay. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands. And we have the Page of Cups. So the, let me see if I can get these squared away. You know, the Seven of Pentacles, we see this man here resting on his garden tool. And he's either taking a, see, a little break, a little catch up, catching up on his breath. He may be thinking about his pentacle bush here. And boy, what else do I have to do to get this thing to flourish? Often there's a sense here of you've really been working hard. You've been watching something grow. You have been taking care of it. You've been nurturing it you have an idea of probably when it's going to be time to harvest whatever it is that you're working on or when there may be a conclusion. So when we take this step away from the physical working, we often think, what's going on? Am I doing a good job? Am I on the right track? Am I going to, uh, am I going to know when really to pull the trigger and, and to harvest these pentacles or to use them or to bring them to market. So, you know, you're thinking of your systems and how your systems are operating. And so when, uh, when he's standing there, all these things are in his, in his mind. It could also be, gosh, this is taking forever. How much more do I have to wait? You know, am I going to be able to hang in there? And the answer should be yes, that, you know, you're so close. It's a seven card. You're awfully close to uh, the end result, the conclusion, the completion. And to continue to nurture, continue to use all of your resources, your time, your energy, the money, um, your smarts, in order to uh, continue to see growth for this symbolic pentacle bush. This could also be a very literal, simple message of, again, taking the time to nurture your finances, uh, the things related to your career of getting training. It could be taking the time to really work on, you know, uh, saving money and, and um, you know, keeping your eye out on what you have. You might be saving for a goal or something that you're hoping to achieve, maybe a summer vacation. But, you know, here's the sense. It's really the, the gist of this is, is you're putting a lot of effort into it because you want to see this develop into something really good for you, which is this pentacle bush, pentacle tree. And whether he's sitting there daydreaming or not, uh, he may be considering his work. He may be trying to do it better. He may be uh, doubting, because doubt comes into all of us. But the message really is to keep at it, hang in there, keep applying 
the right amount of time and energy to this and you will have the rewards and the rewards are very clear when we see the four of wands and the four of wands the wands bring us passions it brings us uh, a lot of energy a lot of vibrancy and we see the couple here and they're happy and they're going to be walking through that door the portal here for these for this four of wands perhaps to uh, a new beginning for themselves a sense of freedom but the four of wands typically indicates some type of celebration some type of getting together among family or friends some say and regarded as a card of um, a committed relationship the potential of an engagement of getting married but it certainly could extend to um, the reward that ultimately the reward is coming now looking at the four of wands we have the page of cups the page of cups is in the direction of these of this couple here and the page of cups is standing here and he is holding his cup and offering his cup his cup of um, sweet emotions sensitivity genuineness being generous being kind being wide-eyed about the world having perhaps all of these preconceived notions about love and about life and wanting to experience them and hoping for that experience so often the page can be a an offer of this emotional opportunity an emotional connection a friendship uh, a date a romantic interest you know a great um, buddy to be with someone that you connect with but there's an earnestness here and there's this youthful energy which is uh, I haven't had all of the experiences of the world of the Queens and the Kings I'm growing I'm getting to know the world but this is what I see and I like this emotional part I it's very compelling to be romantic and to be dreamy and to to be kind and to be gentle so through nurturing whatever needs to be nurtured within your life the patience that it takes to nurture the relationships or the goals or the financial goals ultimately you have something to celebrate and it's a positive emotional happy time when we see this page of cups on the flip side it could also be the introduction of someone new into your life which brings again a lovely emotional component and I always have to look at the fish within the cup the fish is the spark of creativity of being inspired and so creativity can be not only uh, not only pen and paper but it can be the thought and the actions behind our relationships and that we give to others how we treat people on a daily basis so I think it's a lovely spread for Friday uh, very charming very um, eager to see what happens so let's take a look at the numbers we have 7 and 4 is 11 and 11 and 1 is 12 and that reduces to 3 3 is about group activities it's about communication uh, a sense of creativity and also how we express ourselves the, the word expression comes to mind let me make sure I added that together 7 and 4 okay and finally to close the, the reading I'm going to choose an oracle card I believe this is the goddess guidance from Dorian Virtue focused intention keep your unwavering thoughts feelings and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark and how I see it it's so much in line and in sync with the seven of Pentacles which is this even though he is uh, looks like he's taking a break and he's thinking about things when you are focused on your target when you are uh, focused on the intention behind it and doing what you need to do your thoughts your actions your feelings uh, the, you will make your mark the reward will be yours the celebration will be earned 
So I hope you have a fantastic Friday. And uh, I do believe that I will be live streaming this Friday the 20th, like eight-ish. We'll see how it goes. If I can get my system together, we will do it. And if not, then there'll be another time. But check in, see if you're available. We'll say hi. We'll talk about some tarot. I think I'd like to talk about ma maybe uh, manifestation and timelines because I have some good information on that. So be well. Thank you. If you enjoyed this reading, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. Join our wonderful Magnetic Tarot community. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.